Hey, what's up everybody? Chris here with another prototype tip. And this week, I'm gonna talk about sheet metal tolerances and break down the basics. So let's get into it. Now at Protocase and Protospace MFG, with the power of high-velocity mass customization, we can custom manufacture your parts and enclosures in just two to three days. We also take pride in getting your parts made as accurately as possible. Now accuracy is our top priority, but a little bit of dimensional variation is naturally part of the process. Our tolerances are the maximum limits for dimensional variation that we can tolerate before a part is considered out of spec. Now, if you are new to sheet metal design, you might be wondering, well, why does this even matter? Because in the real world, exact precision is rarely achievable due to limitations in materials, processes, and machinery. Tolerances provide a safe zone that ensures parts function correctly while accounting for these variations. For example, a piece of sheet metal may have a specified thickness of 2 millimeters with a tolerance of plus or minus 0.1 millimeters. This means that the thickness can range between 1.9 and 2.1 millimeters without compromising functionality. Proper tolerances ensure that parts fit together seamlessly, which is especially important for assemblies. Tight tolerances are crucial for parts that require precision alignment or interact with each other with components. It's also important to set realistic tolerances and to cut down on errors and minimize your waste. If your tolerances are too strict, you could end up with more rejected parts, wasted materials, and extra time spent fixing things. Now let's take a look at some of the factors that can affect sheet metal tolerances. Metal properties like thickness variation, elasticity, and hardness impact how metals behave during processing. Now thinner sheets are more prone to warping, while materials like aluminum and stainless steel require specific considerations to ensure tolerance accuracy. Aside from material tolerances, you need to also consider tolerances for profile cutting, CNC milling, bending, self punching fasteners, finishes, part markings, graphics, 3D printing, and countersinking. Now for instance, if bending is going to be involved, keep in mind that parts with complex features or tight bends can be trickier to produce with exact precision. Plus adding holes or cutouts too close to the edges or bends can cause deformation or misalignment. It's also important when working with sheet metal that you factor in finish tolerances. For example, if you're going with a powder coated finish, be sure to allow for a tolerance of plus or minus three thousandths of an inch or 0.08 millimeters when working with us. Now our protocase and protospace MFG, we use bilateral tolerancing unless stated otherwise. You might know it as symmetric tolerancing and it just means we use equal plus and minus deviations from the nominal dimension. It is crucial that you allow for these tolerances in your design. Dimensional variance is something that all mechanical designers must contend with. As a designer, if you keep our tolerances in mind while working with your designs, you'll get much better results than just assuming that all parts are the exact nominal size. Our website has all the info you need on dimensional tolerances for sheet metal and machine parts. Whether it's material specs or manufacturing tolerances, we've got you covered. Check out the video description for the links to the tolerance section of our website. Now we'll stick to the dimensional tolerances listed on our website unless we've discussed and agreed upon something different when quoting your job. If you're looking to optimize your designs with expert input, reach out to our team. They can help you refine your tolerance specifications for your exact project requirements. You can reach out to your account manager by filling out the contact us form on our website. The links are down in the description below. And that's the end of this week's Prototech Tip. I hope you enjoyed this brief introduction to sheet metal tolerances. Now we are going to be diving further into the topic of tolerances in the next upcoming weeks, so stay tuned for that. And until next time, please take care.